Hey everyone, welcome to Kempner Canucks. My name is Rev Trev, and today we're diving into opening night line combinations. Are you kidding me right now? I mean, I know it's a little early, and it's you know depending on who's comes up and who goes down, and the whole injury thing, and and who looks good in training camp, and uh, you know preseason, and all that stuff. So I get it. I absolutely get it. But before. I forget. Please, I want you to post in the comments where, what you think the line combinations are going to be. I've been seeing a lot of people posting them. I have quite a unique view and thought about what I think the lines are going to look like under Rick Tockett. And so I'd love for you to do that. Hey, if you're already watching and then you actually comment, why don't you do the third thing and hit that subscribe button. Do the Rev Trev hat trick. I, I'm producing content that I believe is passionate, realistic, and honest Canuck content. If you like that, hit that subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. Speaking of that slogan of mine, I want to show you something that my friend Monty made me. He just sent it to me in the mail. It lights up. I just need a cord that's a little long to get it so you can see it. But he has Kempner Canucks, made it specifically for me, passionate, realistic, honest. That's so awesome. Thank you so much, Monty. I really appreciate that. Now let's get into the video. Capfriendly.com, Armchair GM. And I just want to show you first, long-term or LTIR, Tanner Pearson and Pullman, I believe both start the season here. Okay. Now, Mikheyev, I think, plays. I think he's going to be ready. So he's not going to be in the injury reserve. And so what most people think is going to happen is that it. this is what everyone has kind of um, decided is, is, is kind of what it's going to look like. Okay. I actually don't agree with this. I think that Kuzmenko goes here. Brock Besser goes here. This is going to be the top line. Okay. Then Mikheyev is not going to be on the second line. I think Garland moves to the second line. Mikheyev, and uh, this is what, I'll tell you why. Mikheyev with Pedersen and Kuzmenko was, I believe it was a Boudreaux move. It was not a Rick Tockett move. I think this is the line Rick wants to be successful as their top line, okay? And Brock is the right winger, so Kuzmenko goes to the left, okay? Now, we have seen this line with this. That's been the top line in Vancouver and last year, and it has been productive because Beauvillier played well. I do not think Beauvillier plays on the top line this year because I think he's going to go with JT Miller and Kuzmenko's going to come here so they can have Brock here. Now that means Garland's going to go here because these guys have a chemistry. And Teddy Bluger is not a third line center in my opinion. I mean, he can play third line, but he's more he's better for the fourth. So I think the reason why they brought Suter in was to actually play him here. So what happens is I think Mikheyev starts the year here with Suter. Giuse uh, G Giuseppe is here because. Tockett loves Giuseppe, and I can see these two kind of interchanging. But we're going to start it because I think Bilvelia is actually the better player and makes more money, and that matters sometimes. And then uh, Dakota Joshua will be here. Okay, now, I do not think that Hoaglander plays on our team to start the season. So I'm moving him to the minors, okay, as a right winger. Pod Colson, though, I do think comes, but the problem is I don't think Dakota Joshua can actually play on the right wing. And I think that the Giuseppe can, so I don't mind him there. Like, this is what I think should happen. This is what I think should be. it should look like. Like, these are our four lines. So let's just keep it there. I don't think it will be that. I think Pod Colson needs to be on this line with these Three. Then he had the two Russian players here with Suter, who's the Swiss player. And then the this this line's pretty good together as well. But I can see, again, him going here, him going here. It's just a tragic to have Pod Colson on the fourth line. I just don't think, at the end of the day, like even if you look at 
how much you want him to be here. Okay, so this is what I want. I, I don't know if they're going to do it like this. Okay, now we know Dakota can be at Podkles and vice versa. But I think you want these skilled players to have more minutes. Now, this is what I believe everyone thinks is going to happen, except for this. I think they think that Hirose is going to be here, okay? Quinn Hughes is always going to be in this top one, of course. Cole or Susie, what doesn't matter which one you want here. But I have this feeling that Hironic sometimes is going to be here, and they're going to run these two guys like this. Now, some of you are like, why would you put your top two guys here? You need to split up. Well, these two... Curse, uh, Susie and um, Cole played together on the wild together. So I actually see this line happening here. And I think that opening night, it's not going to be Hirose. It's going to be Matt Irwin. Or it could be, I want Hirose, but he's got way more experience in the NHL. I mean, he's 35 years old. He played, was it 65 games last year for the Capitals? Like, I can see Matt Irwin being a healthy scratch, right? Or just the, the, the extra defense spin or whatever. These guys, I think these guys are the healthy scratches or he goes here and then Matt goes here. I don't know how that all, I know how many people can you put on a roster at one time? Is it 25, 23? Like, can I have him there? What does it say here? Roster size has to be 23. Okay. So... Let, for argument's sake, let's just put him here. I think Drys is going to be there. And then you can interchange these two guys here. Okay. I think Spencer Martin starts as the backup behind Demko. And if you go here, I think it's Hoaglander there. Yeah, th this, this is, I'm not sure how this goes. It's probably here. I'm not sure how these guys all line up. I'm not, I'm, I'm really not sure how this looks, but you got him there. These guys, this is a very good six, uh, eight defenseman. I think this, I mean, we need to get him playing, but I think he plays in Sweden this season. So yeah, it, I mean, what about this line? This looks a little, so much better right here like that. Oh, that looks good. Okay, I don't know. I mean, of course I'd want him there. If he's here, then he's right winger, center. Ooh, ooh. Let, I'm sorry. I'm getting excited about this. This is amazing. Okay, did I mess this up? Look at that line right there. Wow. That would be incredible. Um, yeah, I, I, I haven't watched these guys enough to say I, I know what I'm doing here. So I just want to be careful. Anyways, I like that top line a lot. Uh, the second line is not bad, too. All right, so I kind of got distracted there. Last thing, real quick, um, when it comes to this, it doesn't matter who the center is because we know that Pedersen always plays on the right-hand side. Uh, it's usually Pedersen or JT Miller taking face off. So let's just put Pedersen there. JT al almost always plays in the middle or, the, or this side. So let's... Put him here because that's normally what it looks like, and then you got you've got Kuzmenko here, and then I believe that it's going to be Quinn Hughes and Hironic here, um, and then on the second power play unit we're going to do Cole, Susie, whatever order they can play each side. And this is the line that does not going to play very much. It's mostly going to be this top line. So it it actually turns out to be, this is what I think it looks like. There actually no uh, Brock is going to be here. And then we're going to put Garland there. Okay. That's, that's just my guess. Um, penalty kill wise, really hard to know. I'm going to put Bluger there and... Let's put let's put uh, Bavillier, and then we'll just do we'll do um, Susie Cole, and then on the second if there is a second, uh, we're gonna do J T Miller. Unfortunately, him, and then the defense. I think I think he's gonna do Tyler Myers here, and I don't even know. 
both. Let's just say, let's go here, and then no, they're both right-handed. They can't do that. Okay, so I forget that. I'm gonna do Ronick there. Sorry, this is getting crazy now. Okay, so there. Ronick. I don't know. I can't remember if Quinn plays there. And then we'll just put not Susie. We'll put Cole there. Okay, so this is what the lines are gonna look like. Now, just looking at them again. Okay, so now I don't like, this is what I think they should be. I don't think you're going to be. I think you're going to have, I think you're going to go Cole here, Ronix, Susie, Hirose, Tyler Myers. I don't know. I, li I like these lines a lot. These, these lines, this first line, second, I would love to hear what you had to say. I know that was a long um, description to get there. But, you know, if there's an injury to either one of these guys, Dries comes in, plays here, or they pick up uh, Amon and they put him up there as well. Depends on who's the healthy scratches. I mean, Stignica, they like him as well. So I can just see all that happening. If, if I've made a huge mistake, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear what you had to say. So, yeah, this is kind of where I'm, I'm landing for this year's lines. What do you think? Hey, thanks everyone for watching. Again, post in the comments if what you think is going to be the line combinations. I'd really, really appreciate it uh, because I love interacting with uh, the fan base and hearing what you think about this. So please post in in the comments what you think, where where I'm wrong or what you think is the, the line combination is going to be. I'd really, really like to do that, like to hear that. And please hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe but always we're all canucks go canucks go